Hanuman concludes for that Raghukula Rama Raghava, it is this Vaidehi who is the match. He concludes there. You buy a neat translation, you will get the same meaning. Open quotes. Thereby, through the qualities, familial background and age, Sita is a good match to Rama. Close quote. Concludes Hanuman. This is how translations will be. But there is one point which the translation can't do. He says, for the beautiful eyed Sita, Rama is a match in his qualities, age and familial background. Which means there is a match between the two on all aspects except the eyes. That is what it means for the beautiful eyed Sita. Rama is a match in all these qualities. Why? For this, see, Indian literature, be it Sanskritam or the regional languages like Tamil, Kannada, Telugu, Abadhi, Marathi. Whenever poetry comes into picture, they will give a vivid description of the man and the woman, especially if they are the Nayaka and the Nayaka. They talk about the eyes and eyes are generally compared to the petals of a Blossoming lotus. Then they will talk about the gate. Kunjara Gamani, Mani Mandi, the Manjula Charani, Mama Vashiva Panjara Shukhi Panka Jamuki, Guru Guhara Jani, Durita Banjani, Niranjani, Kanjara Laya Tayakshi Vingata Chala Nila Yam Vayakunta Pura Vasum Pankaja Netram. ஊங்கள்புளகடைதோட்டத்துவாடியுள்ங்கள்ிர்வாய்ிகிழ்ந்துஆம்பல்வாய்கூபினக்கான்ிங்கள்பொடிக்கூரை வெண்பல்தவத
I think it's the Chaulukya dynasty, not Chalukya. Chalukya is on the south. Chaulukya dynasty, there was a lady who, if I'm right, Udayamati, she had constructed this step well as a gift for her husband who had to come from a war. It's not one small return gift, IKEA gift. No. It was a step well. You go see that step well. That step well is the inspiration to Gujarat's textile patterns. It's called Patola. You go to that step well, you get all those designs here. Saurashtra people, when they had to flee to Madurai, they came up with Shungudi. You visit Madurai Meenakshi, what architecture? You visit Sri Rangam. I can go on as a separate presentation to tell how architecture evolved. When most nations didn't exist. There we were constructing the most beautiful of all monuments. Do not go by the traffic today, the plastic which is thrown. Yes, these are all problems which the nation needs to solve. But as a civilization, the architecture is exquisite. And it's a living civilization. You go to Egypt, the civilization is there, the Sphinx is there. But nobody who lived during the Sphinx culture practiced that culture. This is a living civilization. Well, if you go to Sri Rangam, Sri Rangam is, doesn't have a temple within itself. The town is inside the temple. So, your houses will be within the temple. So, Parashara Bhatta used to have a glimpse of Mahalakshmi there. She is called Ranganayaki. Matar Maithili Rakshasi Stvadidadaiva Ardra Parada Stvaya Rakshantya Pavanatmaja Lagutara Ramasya Goshti Krita Kakam Tancha Vibhishanam Time is going. Vibhishanam Sharanamityukti Kshamo Rakshataha. So, he used to go to the Sannidhi of Ranganayaki, shop for his house. You get very good vegetables in Sri Rangam. He used to shop good vegetables. He used to go to the Sannidhi of Ranganayaki and then he used to exit through the white Gopuram. It's called Vellai Gopuram. He used to get out. So this was very, very insulting to the Lord. He visits Ranganayaki and not him. So he thought maybe he likes her, the female. So one day in a year, the Lord assumes the form of Mohini. It's called Mohini Alankaram, which is the previous day to Vaikuntha Ekadashi. So, the Utsava Murti of Ranganatha will be dressed like Mohini, a lady. All the jewellery of Mahalakshmi from her walk-in wardrobe will come here. So, the Lord chose that day and he called his priest to go call Parashara Bhatta so that Parashara Bhatta falls in love with his form. You like her, right? I am like her today. Call him. So Parashara Bhatta was called. Parashara Bhatta for the first time he is coming to the Sannidhi of Ranganatha. Head to toe he looked at the Lord. Wow. Exactly like Mahalakshmi. <laughs> he gave her laugh, a gaffa and went away. The Lord said, come here. Why did you give that sarcastic laugh? I am dressed like Mahalakshmi. Yeah, you are dressed very well like Mahalakshmi. Same sari, same korvai, same mountain border. Everything is like Mahalakshmi. But her eyes are filled with mercy but your eyes don't show that mercy at all. Your eyes are given away telling that you are not Mahalakshmi or Vishnu. Tanchayam aside kshana yen pirati in parvai umal vilikka unnade. My Mahalakshmi's graceful eyes cannot come in you. So Parashara Bhatta. So this is given as an insight why Hanuman said for the beautiful light Sita Rama is imagine all these things. So he can never get the eyes. So till now we were in Rama Goshti. Now we have gone to Amma's party. <laughs> <clears throat> so after having seen, until now he's not even gone down to check how Sita is, how what to do with her, what, what should he do. Then he's looking at the Rakshasis around. So different kinds of rakshasis, different dresses. Each one had one eye, one ear. Each one was a drishyam where you cannot sleep for nights. Look at them. Such Rakshasis were around Sita. Tulya Sheila, Bayo Vrittam, Sita. These were the people. Hanuman thought, what bad time has come for her? Then, as he was wondering what to do, thum, 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 in the middle of the night, there was kettle drums that was hit. 
to give an announcement that Ravana was coming. 12.45 in the night. He adjusted his upper garment. Madhito mrita pena brahmanavjo pastra muttamam sapushpam avakarshantam vimuktam saktamangade. He checked if everything is fine. Perfume. He is coming to Sita's place, right? To tell her, marry me. He has been doing this every night. Every day he will come and tell the same dialogues. Now he tells, see, I have other wives. He tells, but you will be the principal among them. Marry me. Shameless man. Huh? I will not touch you. He tells as if he has that uh, gentleman habits in him. I told you. He had a curse upon him that he should not force a woman. So, but he, he, he thought Sita must not be aware. She must not be reading newspapers. <laughs> I will not touch you, Maithili. You should come on your own accord and say, Ravana, I have fallen in love with you. Sita, she did not even look at him. She plucked one blade of grass and kept it in the middle and turned. Trinamantarata Kritva Pratyuvacha Shuchismita Nivartaya Manomattaha Svajane Priyatam Manaha Trinamantarata Kritva She took one blade of grass. Hmm? 25 reasons have been given by the commentator why she kept a blade of grass. I cannot explain the entire thing. This verse itself will take two hours. Trinamantarata Kritva My father Ravana has advised a great Voracious reader and a practicer, my father Janaka has said, Sita, my daughter, if a learned person comes in front of you and if you have to offer him a seat and you don't have a seat at that moment, keep a blade of grass which is equivalent to a seat. My dear daughter, if you see a person who is not conducive enough for you to talk and you don't want to look at him and you want to draw a curtain and if you don't have a curtain in front of you, keep a blade of grass. My dear daughter, Janaka told it seems, if you keep advising the person and the, all your advices falls on the deaf ears of the person and the person is not ready to be corrected and he's incorrigible, irreparable and irreversible. Think him to be a cow that consumes only grass. Trinamantaratakritva. Sita wanted to tell him, you keep giving me hordes of silk clothes and ornaments every day to probably lure me. All this is like a blade of grass in front of me. Trinamantaratakritva. Hey Ravana, you think that my consort Ravan, Rama is not here. I am sure you will be aware through reading incidents in the public domain that Indra's son Kaka wanted to assault me and he did. At that point in time, Rama took a blade of grass, did the mantrocharanam and made it a brahmastram. That drama is not very far. You have brought me to a very neighboring country to Indra, into India. If he comes and now does a Brahmo, Brahmastra Mantra Ucharanam, even this blade of grass can turn into an astram. Trinamantarata Kritva. Ravana, I am sure you would have read the Puranas. At one point in time, there was a devout person called Prahlada who said, Sarvatra Asti Sada Asti. To prove, to make the words of his devotees true and to exemplify it at that point in time, Satyam Vidhatum, Nija Bhritya Bhashitam, he said, Sata Patala Bhishane Sarabhasa Attaha Sodhbhate Spurat Kriti Paris Putta Drutike Pivatre Krite Kripa Kapatake Sarim Danuja Dimba Dattastana Saroja Sadrisha Drisha Vyati Bhishajyate Vyajyate arose the Lord from the pillar to prove, mark the words of his devotees, right? He came as Narasimha from the blade of grass today, he can come as Raghava Simha. Trinamal Dharata Kritva. So, as she keeps giving these reasons, she tells, how much ever I tell, you are not going to listen. Right? You have made up your mind not to correct yourself and you have walked into the path of destruction. So she laughed. Trinamantarata Kritva Pratyuvacha Shuchismita She laughed it seems. Nivartaya Manomattaha You have decided not to correct your mind. So be rest assured 
that you shall walk to the path of your ancestors and you'll be meeting them soon. So, as Sita told all this, she said, See, you seem to have the thought that you can separate me from Rama Bhaskaro Prabhayata. How the rays of the sun cannot be separated from the sun? You can never manage to separate me from my husband. He is in my thought. Tribitkaranam, all ways he is in my mind. So you please do not have this thought that you can turn me into your consort just like how you have done with other women. I am not amongst the other women that you know of. I am the wife of that ruler of this earth. Why will I fall into a person, person's arms such as you? Even now, Ravana, I will bear no ill feeling towards you. You send a message to him. Ravana, by mistake, I brought your wife. Rama, I brought your, my wife by mistake. Please let us be Facebook friends. He will become friends with you. Mitram opayitum kartum. He believes in friendship. He will become friends with you. Ravana turned towards her and said, I will give you two months time, 60 days. If you don't happen to be my wife, the 61st day, you shall be cooked for my breakfast. I shall, if I can't experience you, I'll at least consume you. He then told the Rakshasis, take care of her. Cutting Ravi, soda bottle, shagar, baboli, they were all ready. Hmm? Then as he leaves, now she starts to think of those women whom she thought as her role models. Dinova Rajya Hinova Yome Bharta Same Guru Tam Nitya Manurakta Smi Yatha Suryam Suvarchala Yatha Shachi Mahabhaga Shakram Samupatishthati Arundhati Vasishthamcha Rohini Shashinam Yatha Lopa Mudra Yatha Gastyam Sukanya Chyavanam Yatha Savitri Satyavantamcha Kapilam Srimati Yatha Sauda Samada Yantiva Keshini Sagaram Yatha Naishadham Damayantiva Bhaini Pati Manu Brata Tatha Mikshwaguvaram Ramam Pati Manu Brata Let Arundhati whom I have thought Lopa Mudra whom I have thought Suvarchala whom I have thought Srimati whom I have thought Sukanya whom I have thought Damayanti whom I have thought All these women give me the courage to fight against this force who is trying to be autocratic in nature. Here, I would like to quote some of the verses what great people have told about Sita. Srinivasa Shastri tells in his lectures on Ramayana. No, it's a, it's a verbatim quote. No woman that I have read of, certainly no woman that I have seen, comes near Valmiki's conception of Sita. She is unapproachable. She is a piece of nature like which there was and can be none. Vivekananda tells, The height of a woman's ambition is to be like Sita, the pure, the devoted, the all-suffering. West has solved the problem of how much a man can have. India has solved the problem of how little a man can have. Sita is typical of India. Sita is the name in India for everything that is good, pure and holy. Sita was a true Indian by nature, says Swami Vivekananda. While the demonesses who were housed in Ashokavanam wanted to threaten Sita, that is when comes the leader of that group. Hey, stop it! Go that side! Mm. Who is that? Vibhishana's daughter, Trijata. She tells, see, in these early hours of morning, I dreamt. What did I dream? I dreamt of my periyappa, my uncle. Dottappa, and the Kannada Dalli Ghead Thivi, Telugu Loh Yemi. Peddappa, Pedda Nana. Pedda Nana, Dottappa, Periyappa. In Hindi? Daoji. All these, she said, see I dreamt of our Daoji, alias Periyappa, alias Dottappa, alias Pedda Nana. That he was tonsured, smeared in cow dung and oil, sitting on a donkey, going in the southern direction. 
I dreamt of Ravana that day. And on the other hand, I dreamt of Sita seated along with Rama on a golden asanam and touching the rays of the sun in the northern horizon. See, as per Shastram, there is something called as phalam for dreams as well. For dreams also, there is a phalam. But that can be applicable only if you follow Shastram throughout your life. Just because I have seen a dream. Sir, I saw a dream of a monkey. What to do? Even I saw a dream of a monkey. What can I do? Like how we are, we get to see animals of our nature. Like, so for us, we cannot do interpretation for dreams. Now, Trijata had a dream. So, as she dreamt, she said, all Rakshasis, be careful. If you threaten her in a few days, Rama may win the war and that time they will make a nice chutney of you all. <laughs> Seek refuge, asylum at her feet. That time Sita said, did you really dream that Rama will come? She said, yes, why should I lie Sita? That time Sita said, don't worry. I will offer Abhaya Pradhanam to these Rakshasis now itself. Nothing will happen to them. Don't worry. And as she was telling this, the Rakshasis went back to sleep. Sita was still perplexed. See, though she may have the confidence that Rama may come, she has seen a dream. She has got no message from Rama's side. She is checking WhatsApp every now and then. No blue tick, no single tick, no network itself available. It was foreign SIM card. Then she thought, it is high time that I commit suicide. She had long hair. What is that um, fable? Rapunzel. Eh? Like Rapunzel, she had long braid. So she tied it around her neck, tied it to the branch of a tree and was about to commit suicide. And atop the same tree was Hanuman. Look at Hanuman's tail. He has flown miles together to meet her and right in front of her, his eyes, she is committing suicide. So he was doubtful what to do. If it is Mata, Mamada, don't kill yourself, please. Looking at a monkey talking in Sanskrit, she may get a massive attack in Delhi. Yadivacham pradasyami dvijatiriva samskritam. The word. If I talk in Sanskritam, what will she, what will be her reaction? Ravanam manyamana maam sita bhita bhavishyati. Sita bhita, she will get frightened. But I have to tell her, if I tell her, don't, if I tell her, don't kill yourself, she may die out of attack. But I cannot keep witness. Okay, let her come in. <laughs> so say, what to do? I can't be that way. Pranatya gascha vaidekya bhavedana bhibashane. What to do now? He did not know how to convince her. That is when he thought, I will use this. So Sita is about to commit suicide. Her legs were about to go away from the small stone which was supportive of her. When she was about to con commit suicide. Raja Dasharathona Maratha Kunjaravaji Man. There was a great king called Dasharatha. Now she is worried. Where is 93.4 FM coming? <laughs> this radio is band station in Lanka. Raja that Now he said I will not speak in. Samskritam. Next verse, Valmiki tells, he spoke in the language of the commoners and that language was a sweet language. Commentators suggest that it could be Tamil because Agastya had come by then. Now you may ask, was Tamil prevalent in those days? Yes. I will give various proof for that. One of the languages which is as old or probably older, probably older, as old or older, as Sanskritam is Tamil. There is extensive proof for that. So, he must have spoken in Tamil. When he has spoken in Tamil, I should do the duty. Dasharathar yendra buru raja irundharam avarik kausalyar kai kai sumitra yendra pattini hadam Andha yagyam shaira piragu vandha baya sattai pirithu kodukka adan valiyaga piranda ramanam ilakkuvanam bharatanam shatrubnanam Nalvarum thirumanamagi sandoshamaga varum bodhu Mantharayyan bal vandha valtan vandha kalakkiyama manattaralai 
கைகேஷி வரம் வேண்ட என்று அவளும் வரம் கேட்டாளாம் ஏழையும் இளங்கோவும் பின்பு போக எவ்வாறு நடந்தன எம்மிராமாவோ என்று தசரதன் கதற மூவரும் அந்த வனம் ஏகி வர வால்மீகி அகஸ்ய சுதீக்ஷ்ண சரபங்காதிகளை கண்டு சந்தோஷமாக அந்த மைதிலியும் ராமனோடு வசித்து வர ஒரு நாள் சூர்பனகை வந்து அவளும் காமுக்கு அறிந்து தான கரதூஷணாதிகளிடம் சென்று ஏகஸ்சராமோ தர்மாத்மா கதம் யுத்தம் பவிஷ்யதி என்று ரிஷிகள் விஸ்மயித்திருக்க ஒன்றரை மூர்த்த காலத்தில் அசகாய சூரனாய் அனபாய சாகசனாய் ராமனும் அறக்கர்களை வென்று ராவணனும் மாரீச்சனை பொன்மானாக ஏவி அந்த மானும் தான் சீதை இடத்தில் சென்று அவளும் தான் மானை பிரார்த்திக்க அந்த மான் வேண்டும் என்று கேட்க அந்த மான் கேட்டால் அந்த மான் வரப்போவீர்கள் என்று இலக்குவனும் சொல்ல அந்த ராமனும் பின்தொடர இந்த இலக்குவனும் பின்தொடர பரிவிராஜக வேஷத்தில் சந்யாசி வேடம் பூண்டு வந்த ராவணனும் சீதையை கடத்தி செல்ல ஐயோ சீதை எங்கு சென்றாளோ என்று ராமனும் தேடி வர ஜடாயுவுக்கு மோட்சம் கொடுத்து சபரி மோட்சத்துக்கு சாட்சியாக இருந்து சுக்ரீவனுடன் சக்கியம் செய்து வாலியை கொன்னு சுக்ரீவனை ராஜாவாக்கி குரங்குகளை தேட அனுப்ப அஞ்சனை புத்திரனாம் கேசரி நந்தனாம் அந்த வாயு புத்திரனான ஹனுமான் சீதையை தேடி வந்து எங்கெங்கோ சென்று இழைத்து ஆறி சிம்ஷுபா விரக்ஷத்தின் உச்சியில் அமர்ந்து அம்மா உன்னை சேவித்து கொண்டிருக்கிறேன் Then he tells I am a monkey so that she won't get the shock. As he looked to the top, she looked to the top and he looked to the bottom, he did a namaskaram. Mata, and then he came down. As Hanuman came down, Sita was very doubtful. Now she does full security check. When Ravana came, she didn't ask for any identity. She was caught, kidnapped. Now she tells, show me your card. Oh, where have you come from? What is your social security number? Are you filing taxes or not? Are you pleading in the Fifth Amendment? What? Kanu Padma Palasha Chi Klishta Kaushe Yavasini Drumasya Shagama Labhya Now it's Hanumana's mother. First of all, you tell me whether you are Rama's wife. Because after talking to you for such a long time, if you tell no, no, I am not uh, Sita from Uttar Pradesh. Uh, I am uh, uh, Sita from Maharashtra. Then what will I do? Then where will I go in search of J. Sita? Uh, now you tell me first of all. She said, yes, I am Ramapatri. Who are you? I am a monkey. Hanuman. My name is Hanuman. Rama has sent me in search of you, Mata. Now you have to prove. Kvate Ramena Samsargaha Katam Jana Silakshmanam Vanaranam Naranam Va You are a monkey. My husband is a human. First of all, when did humans start enjoying friendship with monkeys? Her thought, see, very intelligent. Sita doesn't ask. She, what was her question? How did both of you become friends? That was not her implication. In Ramayana, there was an understanding between Rama and Sita. Without Sita acknowledging, accepting and gracing a devotee, Rama will not accept the devotee. So Sita was of the doubt, you are saying you have been accepted by Rama. But I have not blessed you all. Huh? How did? But she could not ask this question directly, which will also bring out the private conversations that she has had with her. So she is asking, how did the humans and monkeys get together? Now Hanuman who knows how to read between the lines, knew how to answer this. If I had been in Hanuman's position, what question you are asking? What is, you know what Hanuman does? He says, Mata, how can you say that? 
we did not enjoy friendship with Rama just like that. You were flying atop our region. You looked down at us and gave us the grace and jewelry. It is because of your grace we became friends with Rama. Look at how Navavyakarana Pandita talks. This is what makes him Hanuman. That art of speaking. You know what to ask and you know what to reply. Then she asks, Describe Rama to me. Tell me what is his height. <laughs> Tell me how his eyes look. See, before Ra Hanuman leaves Rama, come here, I have to measure <laughs> your height. Huh? What is your weight? Will he do all this? Hanuman tells, you know, what is Rama's height? Eight feet. He tells, Rama's height is eight feet. How? Eight feet, till the tail fan. That is Rama's height. Now, how are his eyes? Hanuman is a good speaker. He could have said it looks like the uh, newly blossom lotuses, petal gambhira, basamut bhuta sumrittana, aravika aravika seta mundari, kadala amala, yadekshanha, kadiyavagi, podevarandhi madurindu shabvar yodi ni. Eyes should extend as per Samudrika Lakshana Shastram. Your eyes should extend till the ears. As per Shastra, eyes should be large, very expressive. You should not spend energy talking. Your eyes should communicate, it seems. Now what most, I collaborate with dancers, what they will do is they will take the collyrium till that end. <laughs> so, eyes should be large. But you know what Hanuman said, Mata? I will fall short of words. If I say that his eyes are akin to the lotus, the lilies will come and fight with me. Why didn't you compare those eyes to me? Those eyes are beautiful, but they fall beyond our description of words and thoughts. Vachama gocharam. Vachama gocharam ahima virajite varaguna bharite Vakpati Mukha Sura Vandite Vasudeva Sajate Vachama Gocharatvam Sita said full marks, 100 out of 100. <laughs> now you tell me what proof I have to believe that you have come from Rama. He slowly takes that ring. Yengita Kudna Tola Chutu. <laughs> you know, if some people are born to search. <laughs> so he took that tree. Now how should he give? He should give it like this. Sita should take it. No, look at Ramayana. If Sita takes it like this, it means it is Bhiksha Mudra. She is accepting arms. Mother should never seek arms from one son. Son or daughter can seek. Mata, Mate, Plavati, Bhiksham, Dehi. Son can ask. Mother should not ask, give me money. The son or daughter should not keep their parents in that position. So Hanuman did not want to give the Angulium like this and Sita take it. You know what he did? He kept the ring like this on his palm. So that Sita can take it like this and she doesn't have to beg. Even in the Mudra, he was so thoughtful. So then Sita sees that tree. First of all, if it's original. <laughs> then she looks at the Rama Nama. Grihitva Prekshamanasa Bhartu Karavi Bhushanam Bhartaram Iva Samprata Janaki Mudita Bhavat tells Valmiki. She was so happy, elated upon receiving that drink. How elated? The poet says, even if Rama was present physically there, she would still choose the ring it seems. She was that excited. Why? The commentator answers because this is the ring that was gifted to Rama by her father. Now you, some of you who know Tamil may be wondering why I am using Adu Idu. In Sri Vaishnava Sampradayam, it is very common parlance that we say Adu Idu. Don't think I am being disrespectful. I am not treating them as objects. Second reason. The commentator says, I will just read the Sanskritam commentary for you. You at least listen how commentary, you know what is commentary? 
every word should be explained of the shloka the context has to be explained why that shloka so generally two lined verse can have this bigger commentary this small or this big or pages together there are commentary there is commentary for all the 24000 shlokas so if 24000 shlokas is this much commentary will be this much like that there are multiple commentaries our literature is one motion अंगुलीयकदर्शनात् तस्य कांतस्य करम स्मृतवती स्तक स्मृत्या बाहु तत्स्मरणे न तद्ग्रीन ग्रहणम् इस द कमेंट्री व्हाट इस दिस मीन इट सीम्स दैट वाइल दे वर लिविंग बाय द बैंक्स ऑफ रिवर गोदावरी वन डे विष्णु हुज रामा एंड सीता वांटेड टू प्ले द गेम ऑफ डाइस सी दिस गेम ऑफ डाइस वी वर ऑल वेरी गुड लीजर प we have created most of the games in the world. So it is believed that Narayana and Lakshmi play the game of dice in Vaikuntham and we are those pawns who are moving there. Pashyantishu Shrutishu Paritaha Suri Brindena Sardham Madhye Kritya Triguna Paragam Nirmita Sthana Bhedam Vishwa Dishaha Pranaisada Vibhrama Dyuda Vrittaha Brahme Shadhyaya Dadariyuvayor Akshasara Pracharam says Vedanta Deshika. So they will play the play uh, play the dice. So we will be the Jiva Atmas moving from India. He will put us to Maryland. <laughs> huh? Then the dice that pawn cannot move for some time. There will be one COVID one <laughs> nagam there outside the house. We cannot go. So these are all the games played. So it seems Rama was playing with Sita, but Rama was not in the habit of losing, and he didn't know how to lose. But one day it happened so that Sita was winning. He was unable to digest that Sita will be winning. So he, he did something so that the pawns get scattered to just say, oh, it just happened like that. He couldn't take that defeat. As he was doing in that due process, he happened to slightly erase the tilakam of Sita. He did like this, something must have happened, the tilakam got erased. Sita was a very senti woman. She got very, very angry with Rama. She stopped talking to Rama. You, want, you don't want to lose, you don't lose. But why did you do this to me? So she stopped talking to Rama. Three days she didn't talk. <laughs> Rama, for such small things, she's getting angry. Even I will not talk. Three days. Now, Lakshmana, poor thing, he's doing all the household activities there. <laughs> he was not aware of what is happening between the two of them. Huh? Uh, so, see, <laughs> the same Chembur example that Mama and Mommy, I said, they did not talk. <laughs> Why? I wanted to understand. So then he called that uh, Mommy, Mommy. Yeah, Mama, Pa. Poor away, sleep. Why are you not talking to him? She said, see, both of us went to a temple. He as usual left me and started walking in the front. He, is, he, he was not aware that his ears are not functioning. <laughs> He can't hear. They are just there as toys. It won't work. Defunctioning ears. One man came on in a Harley Davidson. Now, Ungur Mandi then Harley Davidson. He thought this is a democratic country. What if the chain is in mommy's neck or my neck? And he pulled the chain. I tried calling my mama. He couldn't hear. Few, this man who came to snatch my chain was not aware that he was my husband he goes a few steps ahead and asks the directions from my husband <laughs> and this shameless man mannerless man gave him directions why should give me one reason why i should talk to you <laughs> so sita and rama refused to talk to each other and lakshmana was the one who was the shuttle playing between the two lakshmana thought see i won't interfere in these people and he said i'll go to the forest so rama couldn't sustain without talking to Sita. So he wanted to create a situation which will coax him to talk to Sita or Sita will. 
So he slowly took the ring gifted by Sita's father Janaka and put it into the sands of Godavari. And he said, see, there was only one ring given by Janaka, Janaka Maharaja, Mama Kudutar. I don't know what happened to that ring. I don't know if somebody is there, let them find it and give. Who is that somebody? Only Sita was there. Sita. My father took so much of pains to save gram by gram through Chit and Babu Jolai. Baba Jolili is gone. Huh? So, and she said, wait, let me search. And she found that ring. He told her, this is here. Oh, you found it. And they started talking. So, this has been mentioned in the commentary. That is why Sita feels, when we were separated momentarily for that time, it is this ring which brought us together. And today, when we are distances apart, it is the same ring which is becoming bringing us together grihitva prekshamana sa bhartukkara vibhushanam bhartaram iva samprapta janaki mudita bhavat as soon as sita was made happy uh, hanuman said mata you sit behind my back i will tie one seat belt from here i will take you to bharat desham sita said no 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 i will not come hanuman said see i am giving you an instant top raman two minute solution you can come behind me and I'll take you. Sita said, see, I won't come. Give me one reason, Mata. See, Hanuman, if I come behind you and then the demons come behind me, where will you keep me and fight? It is ocean. Where will you keep? I don't know swimming. And Hanuman said, no, Mata, you come. We'll manage. Hanuman, I'll tell you the real reason. If you take me from here, then some of them may say, you are going behind a Parapurusha. Some unknown stranger is taking you, one unknown stranger brought you from Bharata Desham to Lanka, another unknown stranger is taking you from uh, Lanka to Bharata Desham. What was Rama doing looking? <laughs> so, then Hanuman said, there is nothing wrong, Mata. You are like my mother. So many mothers go behind their sons and school. <laughs> huh? What is wrong? She said, see, Rama has to come and Seek me. Understand, Hanuman, that with my powers, I can burn Lanka this very moment. Bhasma bhasma jasa I don't do this. I can burn this Lanka, take one boat and come to Bharata Desha and meet Rama. Then nobody will discuss about me necessarily. <laughs> Sita went to Lanka, she came by herself, Rama welcomed her with a beautiful bouquet, gave her a huge embrace, there ends the story. Day 8, day 9 will not be there. He has to take the efforts and come and protect me. He is the one who has promised my father, let him do. Mata, I don't know, it is your decision. Please bless me, Mata. Ashta Siddhi Navani Dhike Data Subaradina Janaki Mata Ramara Sayan Tumare Pasa Sadara Hora Kupati Keda Sa Rama Lakshmana Sunday. Before before the lecture, we have Tariya Radhanam, right? Proper food. <laughs> Energy itself is not there. Na shai rog hare sab pira vorak padanam Japata niratara hanumat bheera Sankat se hanuman chudave man kram bhajan dhyan jolave Sab par ramata vaisvi raja Tin ke kaj sakal tum saja Aur manorath jo koi lave Soi amit jolave जीवन फल पावे चारो युग प्रताप तुम्हारा है प्रसिद्ध जगत उजियारा साधु संत के तुम रख बारे असुर निकंदन राम दुलारे अष्ट सिद्धि नव निधि के दाता असबर दीन जान की माता 
राम रसायन तुम्हारे पास सदा रघु रघुपति के दास सो शी ब्लेस्ड हिम देन ही सेड माता यू गिव मी सम ऑर्नामेंट she took her gem studded golden uh, uh, clip called as chudamani chudamani is not the name of our neighboring mommy <laughs> chudamani is the name of the clip the clip's name mommy is having <laughs> so she gave chudamani hanuman accepted it with sheer reverence and then he said i'm very hungry mata you do whatever you want many for tax purposes he has brought many kadali phalavanam you do whatever you want he started destroying monkey what will you do prakritim kapinam right so as he started destroying the rakshasis couldn't fight this monkey super monkey he was so they brought the son of ravana called akshakumara he killed akshakumara akshahantaram vande lanka bhayankaram so aksha was killed then indrajit came very strong son of ravana So the women tried to control Hanuman. They couldn't. So finally, Indra Jit releases Brahmastra. So Brahmastra, Brahma had given a boon. My missile will do no harm to you. Yet Hanuman wanted to respect Brahma, the senior citizen. <laughs> Why you are calling Brahma senior citizen? Because in most dramas, Brahma alone will have white beard. Brahma, I think Jilat Shaver face would have been pushed away. Brahma alone will get one white beard. Dvitiya parad, Dheshwetha parad, Agalpe. He is in the second fifty years, right? So Dvitiya parad. So Hanuman wanted to respect Brahma as a mark of respect. He succumbed to Brahmastram, and there was a thin rope of Brahmastram which tied Hanuman. Nothing more. The moment Brahmastram tied Hanuman, these Rakshasis got some courage. They brought the ropes from their house, whatever it was used for the FedEx couriers, uh, blue dot couriers. Uh, then the bell, everything, all those uh, ordinary ropes they got, and they started tying Hanuman. The moment ordinary ropes started tying Hanuman, the Brahmastra rope got itself relieved. Why? If you surrender to Parama Purusha. you should have complete surrender i will tell him i will tell four other people uh, if i tell those devatas as a backup for electricity if he forgets they will do no tvai rakshati rakshakaihi kimanyaihi if you surrender to the supreme swami i am surrendering shiva narayana charanam sharanam prapade he will protect you no 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 see for, suppose he forgets see there is a scenario if he forgets then you, you, we go back up an option he will leave like how brahmastram left he was pulled to the court of ravana ravana said is this the monkey that has got 6 billion us dollar loss for us we have to go to imf now huh? in lanka lanka is still coming right so he said kill this monkey then vibhishana stood up he said as per geneva convention 1964 <laughs> you cannot kill the ambassador of any other country you can punish him vibhishana's thought was i tried advising my brother to leave sita he is not listening the only way is to get him destroyed and killed in the hands of rama and the only way to bring rama to lanka is when you heard his most devoted person called hanuman then rama will come here so he said you burn his tail so all the clothes were tied to hanuman's tail and dipped in pure ghee huh? patel brothers ka ghee and then <laughs> then it was lit hanuman's mother was a very very modern person she was a social media buff she said whatever you get you share <laughs> he started sharing with with every possible house leaving the houses of the pregnant the woman the elderly and the children every other house started getting burnt now as hanuman had to fly back that is when the demonesses came to sita that monkey which watch which was talking to you sita we have given him a befitting reply we have burnt his tail yadi kinchit anukroshas tasya mayasti dhimata yadi va bhagya sesho me shito bhava hanumata yadi maam vritta sampannam tat samagamalal sam savijana ti dharma atma 
शीतो भवहनु मदह यद्यस्ति परिशुश्रूषा यद्यस्ति चरितं तवह यद्व यदिवात्वत्कपत्नी त्वम शीतो भवहनु मदह इफ I am a sincere person who has adhered to every rules of being a person of good character. Let this minute Hanuman's tail feel the coolness. He felt as if there was sudden AC. <laughs> On the other hand, Hanuman was flying. Then he thought, oh, I have committed a grave mistake. I have come in search of Sita, met, met with her, took her blessings. Now I have ended up burning the same Lanka where she is. How foolish of me. At that point in time, certain group of people who are used to jumping and flying called Charanas were talking amongst each other. See, the entire Lanka is burning. One Charana is telling the other. Except the Simshupa Avriksham where Sita is seated. That very moment, he got relieved. See, life will always throw a lot of questions at us and in us. Answers don't have to come with Narayana coming with Shankham Chakram answering those questions. As you walk to, people will be talking. What they talk may be of a different context. The statement that they make will be relevant to you. This is how divinity answers us. Immediately, Krishna will not come with a flute. We are not Jayadeva or Radha to have Drishyam or Bhattadri. Agre Pashyami Dejo. We are not Bhattadris. We will get answers through the situations that we see around us. Hanuman got. Well, after this happened, these monkeys in Bharata Desham near Thirukkurungudi, they were waiting. What happened to Hanuman? They were all tired. See, first of all, they had come on an expedition which was not related to their professional career. <laughs> Going in search of Sita. What happens to Sita is not their botheration. They have just come because Sugriva has commanded. Now they have to wait for Hanuman's result. So they got tired. That is when Jambavan, the age old bear, was waiting. Sarvata Kritakaryo Sau Hanuman Natra Samshaya Nahyasya Kritakaryasya Nadayevam Vido Bhavet Suddenly they heard a roar, a tremor in the skies. That very minute, Jambavan looked at the monkeys and said, Get up, get up, Hanuman has seen Sita. The monkey is looking at Jambavan. Have you seen Hanuman? Did he come and speak? How did you know Hanuman is saying? No, no, I know from the tone and tenor of this tremor caused by Hanuman that he has seen Sita. How? The child appears for some competitive exam. Imagine. In India, we call it J-E-E, -E, neat. G there is a G mat, sat. Sat comes here. Ingerka, sat. All these exams. The mother and the father, they bless the child and they said, they are waiting anxiously how the child will come back home. If the child comes back, Mom! That means pass. <laughs> Mom! Pay the fees again. So, the way in which you utter words will determine the outcome of a particular incident. Imagine you've been listening to this lecture, you're going out, it's a Friday, it's a important Friday, Shukravaram, you're going out, somebody is asking, Oh! This course, how was it? Uh. Uh. Oh, thank God, you know, I came much late. I, I hope I didn't miss it, they will say. So the way you say, uh, determines whether you like the discourse or not. So Hanuman, even without being there, his tremor, the sound that he gave, that emanated from him, was enough to understand the outcome of his action. Then Hanuman comes. He should have taken all these monkeys immediately to Rama, correct? Who is housed in Bellari, Vijay uh, Kishkinda. He takes him to a vineyard. He takes all these monkeys to a vineyard. Now, fermented liquor. Now, the moment these monkeys saw liquor, they started drinking. One started dancing, one started biting, one started jumping on the other. Gayanti, Kejit, Pranam. Kechit, Nutyanti Kechit, Prahasanti Kechit, Patanti Kechit, Pracharanti Kechit, Plavanti Kechit. Now one man prevented these monkeys from doing such harm to the vineyard. He was the caretaker of that 
particular vineyard, his name was Dadhi Mukha. He was the uncle to Sugriva. These monkeys pounced upon him, started biting him. This man got severely wounded and he ran to Kishkinda. Sugriva, look at me. All this was done by your monkeys. Sugriva, what he should have said, poor Dadi Mukha, sorry uncle, please get the first aid box and all that. He turned towards Rama and said, Hanuman has seen Sita. Rama was confused, your uncle is coming wounded and you are telling Hanuman has seen Sita, what connection? He said, without any reason, Hanuman will not party. If there is a party, there has to be a reason. So, Hanuman has seen Sita. Then slowly these monkeys, like a speed breaker that reduces the speed, slowly these come. Hanuman has not had any of the drinks, so he's well aware of what he is, whom he sees. The moment he enters that hall, Rama is looking at Hanuman's face. He was anxiously waiting because Hanuman has to tell that I have seen Sita. What? How can he trust Sugriva? Sugriva is also the same state of the monkeys. So Hanuman has to tell. Hanuman is looking at Rama. Rama is looking at Hanuman. He is just waiting for that magic word. Drishta Sita. Kanden Sita. I have seen Sita. Had I been in Hanuman's possession? Yes, you imagine, no? Rama is anxiously waiting. See, I started from Tirukurudi. I will begin. Well, I started, the, the headwinds were not very good. I had to do a detour towards Kachatibu. Then there was Mainaka, Surasa, Simhika, then Lankini, then I went room after room, chamber after chamber, then thought Mandodari to be Sita, then I knew Sita will not be Mandodari, then I went to Ashokavanam, there I saw Ravana come, he threatened. By the time I arrived at the point, people will know that I am not an eloquent speaker. A speaker is not a one who elucidates for two hours, but a person who knows what to talk when. What words to use? What Hanuman needed? Somebody says, I went to Tirupati. Telisami Guru. Alada. Yapudu. Chapandi. Mama. Varnana Jayandi. Give me a vivid description. I took a flight to Chennai. Akadinchi. Vahana Vachindi. I went to. The, 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 the foothills, then I had Alameru Manga Puram Darshan Vahindi. Akkadinchi, Sayashacharam, Garudacharam, Simhacharam, Rishabhacharam, Narayanacharam, Anjanacharam, Trishkrimala, Kulasya, Maya Madhava Gauda, Asaveri, Saveri, Sundar Tungadaveri, Gudu Devagandhari, Danyasi, Vegad Hindustani, Kapi, Todi, Natakurinji, Shirakasana, Atana, Sarangi, Darbaru, Pantuvaradi, Varadi, Sanju Kampoji, Kampoji, Harikalyadi, Bhurikalyadi, Sanjoti, Kaumari, Karnata, Karaharapriya, Kalahamsan, Adanamakriya, Mukhari, Todi, Punnagavaradi, Sanjoti, Kaumari, Karnata, Melakartha, Ragam, Jesi. I took one. In the cottage there. So, I didn't get hot water at all first. What was my question? You had darshanam or not? From there I took, morning I went to Vaikuntha Dwaram. Akadinchi, Ukkokka, Sthalanga, Vili, Bhuhu, Bhuvaha, Suvaha, Maha, Janaha, Tabaha, Satyam. Then I crossed the bridge, I went along the temple wall, I crossed the Gopuram, crossed the Rangamantapam, crossed the Dvadastambam, crossed Varadaraja Swami Sannidhi, then I went to Swami Varu Sannidhi, there I saw Garuda, Dwarapalakas, Kulashekhar, Alvar, Padi, then I went there and closed my eyes. Prashna Vemi Dashana Ainda. Uttaram. <laughs> so, speak what is relevant. Drishta Sita. Look how communication skills is taught to us. You don't have to do, go to the Ross school. Probably you can go to a Cornell, you can go to a Ross. The second semester will have a course called as negotiation skills, organizational behavior, Maslow's hierarchy, all this SWOT analysis. But look at how communication skills is taught for free. Right? But we believe that what comes for free will have no value. We have to spend a lot of money, go there and learn the same thing. Communication, speak when you are spoken to, speak the relevant words. Drishta Sita, we won't know. Drishta Sita, Kandain Sita. In Tamil, the word is Kandain Sita. See, 
grammatically, when we do a sentence, right, we have a subject and a predicate. This is what we have learnt in grammar, right? Rennacharya and Martinacharya have taught that way. <laughs> subject plus predicate. Predicate will become verb plus object, S plus V plus O. Object will become indirect object, direct object. This is, these are the formulae, right? In that, verb can take any form. For example, see, to see. There is a gerund and an infinitive, right? So seeing, saw. Saw is a, you go to the past and then say, I saw. So the verb and there is a subject. How do you write the sentence? I saw Sita. Correct. But in Sanskritam there is a unique thing. You don't have to use I. The verb will tell whether it is I or you. You are getting my point? Saw. If I tell in English saw. Come on. Tell me who saw. You saw. I saw. So that saw verb cannot convey who saw this. You need to tell whether I saw, you saw, he saw, she saw. Whereas in Sanskritam, if I say, uh, uh, for example, uh, um, you say, um, uh, uh, Bhuktos me, or Bhujami, or for example, Panos me. These words means I ate, I drank. Poojasi. So that will become you. You don't have to use that subject there. The Prathama Purusha or Madhyama Purusha doesn't have to come there. Now, that is point number one. For example, we say Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kama Rupini Vidyarambam Karishyami. So Karishyami, I am starting but that I is not there but the verb Karishyami indicates Aham. Getting the point? Now, Drishta Sita, Kandain Sita. Why you can also say Sita Kandain. Correct? Sita was seen. But grammatically, it may be correct. But situation-wise, it is wrong. I'll tell you why. I can take two minutes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, in Nyaya Shastram, in Sanskritam, there is something called Ayoga Vyavachedam and Anya Yoga Vyavachedam. I'm not getting very deep. Just one information. Ayoga Vyavachedam and Anya Yoga Vyavachedam. For example, I say, uh, I don't know how to speak, uh, give this example in English. Uh, Partha eva dhanur dharaha. Partha eva dhanur dharaha. What does it mean? Partha alone is an archer. Correct. Partha eva dhanur dharaha. What does that mean? Partha eva dhanur dharaha alone. Partha alone means nobody besides Partha can call himself an archer. Correct. Partha alone means no, Swami, the person next to my house, flips. No, no, flips cannot be an archer. Partha eva dhanur dhara. Correct. Partha dhanur dhara eva. Partha is an archer alone. What does that mean? So, if you have been thinking that Partha is a, a doctor or an auditor, no. Partha is an archer alone. Which means, he is only an archer. He does not do any other profession. But if I say, Partha Eva Dhanurdara, nobody else but Partha is a Dhanurdara. So that Eva matters. This is called Ayoga Vyavachedam and Anayoga Vyavachedam. Now, if Rama had sent on a search mission, Rama, uh, Hanuman, you have to go and search for Sita, Gita, Vani, Rani, Hema Madini. All these people you have to search. Then if Ra Hanuman was able to spot only Sita out of the five people, then he has to come and say, Sita I saw. Which means, I did not see Gita, Hema Malini, Vani and Rani. Correct? But the mission was to go in search of Sita only. There was nobody else. So Sita is not important there. Seeing is important. You are getting my point? So the mission is only one x, the variable is only one, which is x. There is no second variable. So you cannot come with a simultaneous equation there. It is x alone. Only when there is y, you can come up with a simultaneous equation. You can say 2x plus y is this. So there is only one variable there. So what is the value of that variable is more important than its counterpart. Algebraic definition I am giving. So, Sita I saw will be relevant only if he goes in search of Sita and Gita. He has gone in search of Sita alone. So, seeing is more important than Sita because 
Imagine if Hanuman had gone and searched for Sita and couldn't find her. Even then the sentence can begin like this. Uh, Sita ye e parka ville. You can begin and say, Sita, I didn't see. Then Rama may still have get an attack there. So what is more important? The verb takes more prominence than the subject. So it is verb which comes first. Saw Sita, not Sita I saw. You are getting my point? How Hanuman is a grammarian there? Uh, I don't know if I have given you this example. Um, of how poets were, see when most nations didn't exist. We were talking about verb, subject, predicate, direct object, indirect object and all of that. I will give you an example. Kalidasa was a great poet, no doubt. In every newspaper, first page there will be news about Kalidasa. But there were other poets also who existed alongside Kalidasa who were great poets. One was Dandi. Dandi was also a great poet but he was absolutely frustrated with the thought that journalists are coming only Kalidasa on page 1. Dandi's news will come on page number 14 in the law small section. So Dandi got really frustrated. He said, let us now go and find who amongst us is a greater poet. So Kalidasa and Dandi walked to the house of an age-old great poet who was seen to be the arbitrator or the judge there. His name was Bhavabhuti. So this Kalidasa goes and uh, Dandi also goes. They were good friends. Don't think they were some evil people who were fighting. They were just rivals, that's all. So they reach the door of Bhavabhuti and they knock at the door. A little girl of maybe say four, five years comes and opens the door. She says, Namaste. Very happy to have you as guests. My grandfather Bhavabhuti has just gone out. He may be coming in some time. Could you please sit? So in you know in traditional houses in India, the architecture was you will have raised platforms on either side of the entry door outside the house. It was called Tinnai in Tamil. You don't have to bring the guest inside at all. You could entertain them very well there and say bye and leave them. So on one side of the raised platform sat Kalidasa and on the other sat Dandi. Now the girl, she wanted to be hospitable, four and a half years of age, so she asked. Sir, what could I bring for you? You tell me what I could bring. You know what Kalidasa said? Patrani swarana varanani karanam tayaja rochane. Patrani, get me leaves. Swarana varanani, BT modified golden beetle leaves. Patrani, swarana varanani karanam tayaja rochane. Oh, the girl who has got eyes that extend till the years. Patrani swarana varanani. What did he say? Oh, the girl with ears extending till the uh, eyes extending till the ears, golden beetle leaves. This is all he said. Then she had to ask Dandi, what should I get? He said, Thurnam aniyatam churnam purna chandra nibhanane. Thurnam, immediately. Aniyatam churnam, get to me, bring to me the churnam. You apply churnam on beetle leaves, right? Purna Chandra Nibhalane, oh the girl with a face, a countenance that looks like a full moon, please bring to me Churnam. If you are giving beetle leaves, you need Churnam. So this girl said, okay, and she went inside. Then Bhavabhuti is coming. He didn't realize that these two men were seated outside. He saw the main door open and his girl was bringing beetle leaf and Churnam. Whom are you bringing this for? She said. Kavayaha Kalidasaya Dandinaha Panditasya I am bringing this for the great poet Kalidasa and the grammarian called as Dandi. <laughs> These people said, judgment given me. <laughs> they had come to the... Why? Look at the point. If you are a poet, you will be concerned about the emotion and not the grammar. Kalidasa did not use a verb. He said, Beetle, golden colored beetle leaves. Oh, the girl with ears, that eyes that extend till the ears. He didn't say, oh, the girl with eyes that extend till the ears. Bring to me the beetle leaves. He spoke like a poet. The girl, the girl with ear, eyes that extend till the ears. Golden colored beetle leaves. This is all he said. Whereas his dandi said, please bring to me. He spoke like a pure grammarian subject, verb, Predicate. So she said, he is a poet and this man is a grammarian. <laughs> Look at the way language evolved in those days.
So here that is very important. Now Rama comes here. Uh, there was a great poet around the 17th century, even before the trinity of classical music. He was called Arunachala Kavi. He tells what was Hanuman's reaction while he met Rama. சமயமீதேவாசி இனி தாமதம் செய்யும் ஆகாதியொன்றிடம் பேசி ராமா 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 என்று எதிர்பேசி கண்டேன் 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 சீதையை கண்டேன் ராகவா ஐ சோ அ லேடி ஹூ வாஸ் நாட் அ லேடி இன் ஆர் ஃபார்மேட் ராமா ஷி வாஸ் அ பர்சானிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் ஹவு பிளனிஷ்னஸ் அ ஹியூமன் பீங் கேன் கெட் கண்டனன் கற்பினுக்கு அணியை கண்களால் இருப்பிறப்பு என்பதொன்னும் கற்பு என பெயரதொன்னும் கலினடம் புரிய கண்டேன் உன் குலம் உன்னதாக்கி உயர் புகழ்க்கு உறுத்தியாய தன் குலம் தன்னதாக்கி தன்னை இத்தன்மை செய்தான் வன் குலம் கூற்றுக்கு ஈந்து வானவர் குலத்தை வாழ்வித்து என் குலம் எனக்கு தந்தாள் என்னினி செய்வது எம்மோய் by just being one sita with that rigidity that you should come and rescue her she is bound to cause a damage to the legacy of the demons she is bound to bring happiness to the legacy of the celestials she by bring a woman of the best character she is bringing good grace to the legacy of her father and her father in law well rama she causes beauty into all legacies but that is not great rama she has given my legacy back to me what did he mean hanuman meant see i am a monkey a monkey by nature is supposed to be indecisive correct whether should i take this or that whether should i eat it this or that should i should i do that or not should i do that or not so it's very indecisive that is the nature of a monkey till i met rama who's you i was indecisive i was a monkey i carried the legacy of a monkey i thought whether he is the lord that person is the lord whether this is the one whom i should worship the moment i saw you rama i thought you are the one whom i should worship so i lost the nature of being a monkey i became decisive but the moment i saw sita i got indecisive thinking that it is not him you that i should worship i should end up worshiping her so this nature of being indecisive she has given me back yen kulam enakku thandal ennini seivadu emoy at that point in time rama said hanuman come here the monkey is very focusing he is going to give her him kohi noor something very precious the tv channels live coverage started zooming in something precious rama is going to give rama said hanuman come here hanuman out of humility went closer to rama hanuman right now i am not ruling ayodhya even if i were to rule for a moment i cannot i cannot give ayodhya and tell this is a match for the service you have rendered your your service is priceless and matchless I have nothing in me or nothing with me to present you for the service that you have rendered. I can just do one thing. Apara para para parikha paribrita para pura para srita davadahana javana pavana bhavaka pivara parishvanga bhavita sarvasvadana I can just give you a heartfelt hug. This is the only thing that I can give you Hanuman. And Hanuman said what more do I require? so and then he presented chudamani of sita and uh, rama accepts it and then he has to launch his mission to go to lanka that will be covered in about 6000 shlokas 6000 plus shlokas in the massive yuddha kandam in two days which is tomorrow and the day after tomorrow the lecture will be between 3 and 5 pm vibhishana sharanagati the pinnacle of sharanagati shastram as propounded by vedanta deshika and ramanuja then comes day 9 which is the day after sunday 
3 to 5 again, it will be Sri Rama Patta Abhishekam. So, I am sure a lot of you, ranging from all ages, the youngest to the oldest, you have all been attending. This is sheer devotion that you have towards this ancient civilization. This is ample proof for that. We this, we had such a big crowd. So, even the temple authorities were not sure, so was I not. And we were covering it live, there are many people watching live, but I understand people are coming from distances to attend to a Ramayana Navaham, which just proves how great Valmiki's Kavyam is surviving after years together. So, tomorrow and the day after, sure there's a weekend, a lot of you will bring in a lot more people. And please do come tomorrow and the day after, the day after, before the Upanyasam, between 11 and 1 or 2, I believe, there is going to be Mahaprasadam, Annadanam that day. So all of you can partake in that particular religious event. Give one hour gap, have tea and then come to Upanyasam. After food, immediately if you come to Upanyasam, I will question, I will ask questions in the middle. Okay? So, um, tomorrow at the day